Hello YouTube, I'm Bill Hensley and welcome to my three month review on my 2017 all electric Nissan Leaf. So one thing I can say in the three months of owning this is that I do not miss having to change oil anymore. As you can see I've driven uh, 3,600 miles on this car and at that point I would be changing the oil and I don't have to do that anymore so that's a big plus. Another thing I don't miss is having to gas up anymore. Taking time out of my day to refuel my car. All I have to do is come home, pop open the charge port lid, and then walk over to my EVSC mounted on the wall here and simply plug it in. My car is also equipped with the DC fast charging option, which I highly recommend that you get if you're considering getting an electric vehicle. I can tell you in the three months of owning this vehicle, having the DC fast charging option equipped on this car certainly cuts down on any of the range anxiety one might have, and it definitely helps with some of the longer distance trips I've taken from time to time. So here's a question that I seem to get a lot, is how much does it cost to plug in at home? The short answer is, not much more than the average household, but let's take a more in-depth look at this. The first thing to make note of here is that I have a 30 kilowatt hour battery pack in my Nissan LEAF. So what I want to do is I want to find a day that I use close to 30 kilowatts and then I can find out on that day how much did it cost and that's going to give me my average on how much it would cost to put 30 kilowatts into that battery pack. So if I scroll around here you can see 17 kilowatt day, 26, uh, 23, and there we go, 29.52. That's going to be about as close as I think we're going to get it. So that was Monday, September 25th. So let's change that from electricity to cost and go back to the 25th here, 27th, 28th, 26th, 25th. So on the 25th, which was right under 30 kilowatts, that's a $3.84 day. So it cost just under $4 to fully recharge my 30 kilowatt hour battery pack in my Nissan LEAF. So what I've been doing is I've been resetting the trip before I plug in each time. And I typically plug in after I've driven about 90 to 110 miles. Now why is that important? Well my wife typically drives about 250 miles on her car before it's time to gas up. Last time we topped off her car, the estimated range read 277 miles. If you take her 277 miles and you divide that by 3, then you're left with roughly 92 miles. So I have to recharge my car three times to be the equivalent of gassing up her car once. And where we already know it costs me $4 to recharge once, it's only costing me $12 to be the equivalent of gassing up one time. And how much did it cost the last time I filled up her tank? $35. That is a $23 savings just by going electric in fueling costs alone. And that's not to mention that Nissan also gives you a easy charge card for the first two years of ownership. So if you don't plug in at home and you happen to go to like the EVGO system or ChargePoint or any of the other networks, you can charge while you're out and about for free and that brings the cost down even more. So yeah, between lower fueling costs, lower maintenance costs, and overall just a fun ride to drive, I'm happy to report that after three months of ownership, I am simply amazed by the Nissan LEAF. I look forward to posting a six month review in the month of January to let you know how the Nissan LEAF holds up in a main winter. Till then, I'm Bill Hensley. Please like, subscribe, and share. Thanks for watching.